What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Black Desert and it's been a while since we've been on Sork so I thought I'd go over what uh, equipment we got just in case someone is new or hasn't seen this because it's been a little while. We have the Kazarka Amulet Try uh, with some enhancements in it that gives us better attack point up and accuracy. Then we have the Try Ultimate Jubre Talisman with the Ultimate Spell of Seduction Scythe. We have Agarian armor everywhere. It's just all tri Agarian. We have Duo Asula's Crimson Eye Belt. We have Duo Asula's Crimson Eye Ring. We have a Pry Asula's Crimson Eye Ring. We have a Tri Asula's Crimson Eye Necklace. We have a Pry Asula's Crimson Eye Earring. And we have a Duo Blue Coral Earring. So, we are working towards Beg's Gloves. That's the next thing that I want to get. Then I want to upgrade my Talisman. And then I don't really know what I want to do after that. Maybe... Uh, that's the wrong thing. Where is... Where's my scythe? Maybe the dandelion scythe is next. Possibly. Possibly. We would have to get a try one for it to be worth it, which is 615 million. But I really love the scythe, so... We might go for try or tet in the lion i'm not quite sure but it's not what this episode is about this is our weekly friday episode on the sorceress it doesn't mean we won't have more sorceress episodes from time to time but every friday there will be a sorceress episode unless there's a new game or something like that that comes out then i'll i'll update you guys and we'll move the sorceress day okay so we are going to be doing the a bit Black Abyssal weapon quest because I've never done it. I need it for when I make new characters because that's going to be something I do a lot is make new characters, have fun, play through to level 56 because that's what the that's the most enjoyment I get out of this game. So let's get into this. Greetings. My name is Kona. I'm a member of the Shen Merchant Guild. So what do you think of the arena? It's always so rowdy, right? And it can't be helped. Once this arena was an honorable place where the people of Medea gathered to have fun and let off some steam. When times were hard, we would all come here to share our joy, our anger, and bonded to each other through a common cause. How I miss those days, and I would feel the blood rushing through my veins. You seem a formidable fighter. Would you be interested in fighting in the arena? I would sponsor you, of course. Already quite famous around here, Yennefer. I think you have the potential to become the king of the arena. How about it? Do you want me to put your name down? Sure. Oh, I can't. Really? Really? How, how anticlimactic is that? Full on quests. Um, uh, where are the repeatable ones? Go down, repeatable. Uh, which one am I never gonna do? Okay, okay, get rid of the cuckoo bird one. Okay, there we go. All right, accept the quest. Oh, I gotta listen to him. I missed the past days of glory. Everything was so hustle and bustle back then. It's been a long time since anybody asked about this once the arena was busy every day without rest, four day long tourneys, ten day long battle royales, we had them all. The winner of each event then fought one another for the right to challenge the king of the arena for that prestigious title. The one on one matches were great but the most exciting to watch were the three on three battles. This arena has seen many great fighters but Schultz outclassed them all. It was a sad day for all when he died, but what is even sadder is that his death also put people off from the arena. Want to restore the arena's former glory? I believe that is the way we revive Altanova to its formal formal glory. I want to bring together the skilled combatants who used to fight in the arena. Only then will we be able to draw more people here again. I have already enlisted three fighters. They are all very powerful and all well and all we need now are some worthy challengers to face them. Can you help me? Yes, I can. Uh, I'm so glad that you'll help. First, we need more information. The citizens of Alta Nova are bound to know some local talent. With your help, we can assemble a... A roster. Uh, a roaster. A roaster of the bravest and most skilled fighters. Fighters worthy of stepping foot in this arena. Alright, so we need to gather information from the Alta Nova residents about legendary fighters. I need to select this quest. Uh, which quest is it? There we go. The good old days. Alright, so let's go ahead and go get ourselves some fighters to fight. This should be interesting. I'm assuming this is going to play out similar to PvP against an AI. That's what I'm assuming. But I don't actually really know. But that's what I'm going to go with is that it'll be quite similar to regular PvP just against an AI opponent. Which could be good or bad for me. 
I don't know. I haven't PvP'd much in this game, but I really haven't got... I mean, I got killed by higher level people that just, like, three-shotted me. So I don't really... I don't know how serious I take that PvPing. And then there are times when I, like, couple-shotted other people because I was over-leveled them. But the couple, of like, fair PvP matches I've had, it it's good fun. I just, you know, as I've said many times, PvP is just not my main thing. Um, I'm watching the humans to see if they plan to invade us invade us Karu this region pr practically ours is practically ours now oh my gosh I can't read fighter I know who is the greatest fighter of them all Kuru Kunga he is the best he was once friends with Schultz the gladiator K Kunga was a great warrior Kuru okay so now um what is it wanting me to do now there we go reset the navigation for some reason my quests haven't been updating well to like reset up the auto pathing i don't really know what is happening but all right let's go ahead and turn this in i need to go through and get rid of all of my quests that i'm never gonna do i have like 10 quests that i probably will never ever do that i just need to toss into the garbage to make room and kind of clean up that right side of the screen all right. Let's turn this quest in and grab the next one. Hmm, I think Kunga will put up a good fight. Okay, I'll give you gold ingot as the contract fee. You will need it to persuade the contestants to join us, so don't go spending it care carelessly. Uh, give me the Serendia. Legendary Fighters, why don't you go talk to Kunga? I believe in you. Okay, so now, I don't like that I have to keep going in here to select the quest. Very fighters, there we go. And let's go get Kunga. I have to do this for like five, if, if, I, if I go back there and I have to go get another fighter, I'm just going to skip ahead. For the sake of you guys, you don't have to see me recruit like five different fighters. Because... I'm assuming they will all be relatively the same. I'll keep recording, but I won't talk unless something pops up and I feel like I should do something. How far away is this dude? Because we're leaving. Oh my. Okay. Well, I uh, will see you guys in a moment when we get up here to the Schultz Guard outpost. Yeah. Okay. We're going to have to run up there. So I'll see you guys up there. Um... Yeah, if I feel like if, it, if, if it's not important, I'll just see you guys when there's something important. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a moment. All right, so the long journey is complete. We are here to talk to Kunga. Uh, who do you think you are coming up to me with no fear? Ha, what? Fighting the Altanova Arena? That thoughtless idiot, does he not know that my greatest wish is to annihilate the Shed Merchant Guild before I die? How dull. Perhaps I should go hunt some black dragons. What? Honor of Schultz. That's right. Schultz fell for a trap and got slaughtered for nothing. All of us wild folks may have stayed honorable, but we need some practical things, like something tangible. Damn it. I can't stand this no longer. I'll help you, pal. Schultz the Gladiator was truly the greatest fighter of them all. He was unbeatable. I will go fight in his name and put an end to this nightmare. Okay. Perhaps I am getting on my ages, or perhaps I am getting on my ages, but I am not as strong as I used to be. However, I don't want others to know. I need to drink some special health tonic. Won't you help me if I am going to fight in the arena? I want to be in my best shape. Okay, so we need to gather wasteland cheetah dragon blood and white cedar tree sap. Okay. Well, here, here we go. What is Wasteland Cheetah Dragon Blood? Where am I supposed to go for this? All the way over here. So, uh, I'll see you guys in a second when we get over there. Um, I actually need to kill seven of these while I'm here. So, let's just get this out of the way. And because why not? We only need to kill eight more as I get slammed to the ground. Get up! Get up! Oh my gosh. Slammed into the ground. I have to remember how to do my attacks and stuff. I don't actually... I got... How do I do... 
Hold on, we got we got to teach myself the one. Okay, so right trigger forward is that. But then how do I? How do I do? There's a there's the swap into the explosion. But I, how do I do that? Is it back A? Yeah, it's back A. Okay, okay, that was quick enough. Figure remembered how to do it. That's all that really matters. I do probably need. Hold on, let me see here. What is the experience percentage look like here? I've never farmed here, so. I don't really know. Uh, it's not terrible. The mob density is like thick enough that it, it, it could be viable. I, I really haven't ever farmed the Schultz area over here. Can you guys cluster up for me a little bit? Taking a beating. I think technically I'm a... And there it is. Slammed into the ground. Yeah, it's not terrible. It's not really great either. Like, what? Would that, that was like, I don't know, a minute for portion of a percent. It's it's fine. There's better places, obviously. Um, and there's obviously... I'm just going to talk. We're almost here. We're almost to where we need to go, so I'm just going to talk. Um... We're all, we, uh, there are obviously better places, and there's better places where I can use these stupid, um, these things, the Marnie stones, to give me extra experience. It's not a lot, it's like a percent, or like half a percent, it's nothing crazy, but it's something that you might as well get done while you're, you know, farming. I just, there's no reason not to use it, I guess, is my point, so, yeah, that's why I... <laughs> that's why i i don't really farm some of these other areas but i need to start doing like the dailies at thousands and stuff like that because they're worth like half a percent or a percent and really when you're dealing in in you know trying to get a hundred percent that's hard to actually get i mean it, it's hard to level up from 58 to 59 and then 59 to 60 and 60 to 61 that you know half a percent every day for you know 10 minutes of your time Plus, whatever experience you get for spending that 10 minutes of time ends up being pretty, you know, pretty beneficial. Um, I need to figure out... I need to... Oh, here's the Wasteland Cheated Dragons. How do I... Do I have to Fluid Collect? Hold on. Few Fluid Collector. I have to do this 15 times? This is... This is really slow. This is really slow. I really hope this one fluid collector is enough to... This is really slow. Okay, oh, okay, that that's better. Um, okay, that's white cedar. Hold on. White cedar, put the axe back on. And hammer away at the white cedar. <laughs> this... I've never really done any of this before. I probably should. Does it actually give me experience for like hacking away at this tree it does it gave me like 0 0.01 percent we did not get a white oh you got to get sap can i i don't think you get sap from doing what i was doing um i'll try it one more time but i don't think i get i've never had to get to gather like sap and crap so i don't <laughs> i don't know how this works we'll figure it out though No. Okay, so no, no, can I fluid collect, can I fluid collector or this? Oh, I doubt it. But I don't really have anything else, so I don't know how to get the sap. Wait. Uh, I think I got it, I think I got it. You can fluid collect sap, maybe. I think, I'm hoping in 10 seconds we're gonna find out. Hey, the positive thing is, it's kind of learning something new. And... Yeah, we got three sap. Nice. Okay, so I need another tree. Need one more tree. Wait. Yeah, wait, no, no, no. That's just a regular cedar. White cedar. Here we go. Alright, then we have to uh, gather Wasteland Cheetah Dragon Blood. This is not the quest that I expected it to be. 
I, I know you can get more proficient in gathering, so hopefully, like, you know, if I would have done this before, it doesn't always stay this long. Okay, so there's that complete. Come here, buddy. Okay, so you guys know what's going to happen here. I will meet you guys back when I finish this. Once we get to something else, I'll, I'll see you guys at that time. <laughs> Alright, we are back here at Kunga. Kihi, kihi, kihi. You brought everything. It's been a while since I had to do this. What are you doing? Hurry up and make my health tonic. You just have to heat up the cheetah dragon blood and white cedar sap. Surely you know how to do such a simple thing. No? Yes, I know how to do it. Uh, I kind of forget where my processing menu is. Uh, I think it's up. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Uh, what is it under heating? Is it under heating? Okay, it's not under heating. What is it under? Simple cooking? What is it under? Chopping, grinding, shaking. Okay, what is it under? Let me just look. Let me just look at the quest. What is it under? That's not it. Oh, uh, where is it? Uh, choose heating. Select. Oh, I have to select. Okay, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. You have to actually. I'm so dumb. Okay. Um, select. And cedar sap. Cedar sap. Confirm. And here we go. I, yeah, I forgot, I forgot how processing worked. I really haven't done it that much. I did it with some wood once because I was bored, but I kind of had forgotten how it worked. Okay, you're telling me this will invigorate you? Oh, you're quite a processor, aren't you? Yes, this is what it should, this is what it should be. Wahaha. <laughs> well, this will surely put hair on your chest. Excellent. I like it. Ki, 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 ki. Uh, give me the Serendian meal. Uh... What you made wasn't actually some special health tonic. I set you on a fool's errand to see how serious you were. Well, now it is time for me to get serious too. Let's do this. You said you are forming a team of three? Then we will need one more fool to join us. I know just the person to join us in this foolishness. People will think of him as a puffed up fool, but he has won some great battles. You will need to go to Serendia. Go and fetch the fool. Okay. So we need to go meet the man that Kunga recommends, so... Um, gotta select the quest, and then I'm sure he's a million miles away. Let's see. Let's take a guess. How far away is he? He is all the way over here. So, yeah. I will see you guys in another hot moment once we get over to Serendia. Alright, so we are back after a not-so-brief run across the map to stage number two of getting our second teammate for the arena. Oh, it's my newbie friend uh, from before. So why are you looking for me, Brody? My Russell Westbrook? What, what, the arena? You want me to fight? Fighting is easy. First, you need to decipher your opponent's fight pattern. Then you will be able to spot a weakness and target it. There's no such thing as cheating when it comes to a fight. You just do what you got to do to win. There is no weakness. Ha ha ha, there is no such thing. Nobody is perfect. I, Brody, am famous for exploiting every weakness with my blade. So, I'm recruiting Russell Westbrook as my partner. Okay. Persuade Brody and persuade... <laughs> My two quests are both to persuade Brood, Brody. Uh, here is some money. Well, I thank you, but I still can't participate. If ever, if I ever do, it will pretty much ruin everything. I mean, it won't be as much fun. You are putting me in an awkward position. You can give that gold bar to the fellow over there. Oh, God of fight. Uh, say no more, please. Everybody knows about it. You don't have to tell me, oh dear, am I needed that much? Well, of course, I am just a person for that job. Wow, that was too easy. You are dead wrong if you ever think that I'm persuaded by some gold. Let's just say that I was deeply moved by your sincerest heart. I bet. Okay, well, that was easy. Did you say you will be on the team with Kunga? That naive fool always leaves himself wide open. Hee hee hee. But don't worry. As long as we work together, everything will be fine. Well, I see you... Well, I see you on the promise day. Sorry to say that no one will be cheering for you. Everyone will be cheering for the return of Orc Hunter Brody. Ha ha ha. Okay, well, I need to... Now, I need to find someone else, though? 
Okay, guess we need to go find Kana. Am I just not participating in this anymore? Or find Kona? Let me guess, Kona is somewhere a million miles away. Who just attacked me? Chill, buddy. I can one-shot everybody here. Okay. Where are we all? Okay, we are all... Oh, no, we gotta go back to the main guy. Okay, yeah, okay. So, yeah, I will see you guys back in Altanova, where hopefully we can get this started. I know this is kind of... It's, it's a decently long quest chain, so hopefully, though, we can get into something more exciting than it deals with actual fights. So, hopefully, when I see you guys in a moment, that's what we'll be getting into. All right, so we are back in Altanova. Time to talk to Kona. Kunga and Brody, they will provide a challenge indeed. It's quite a team you have there, but compared to my team, hmm, I'm a bit concerned. Oh, it's not that I don't trust you, but these are such formidable opponents for anyone, that's all. Well, how about this? Try to meet these opponents one by one in person by yourself. You can always give up the whole thing after learning about them. Try meeting the Steel Brothers first. Most people easily get overwhelmed by the look, so be careful. Okay, so we're we're back to just interacting with people. This quest is not at all what I thought it would be, but, uh... Oh, come on. Please tell me they're not, like, 500 miles away. Good. Okay, I was gonna say. If they were, like, in... I don't know. What's the farthest place away that they would realistically be in? Uh... Maybe if they were in Kalfian, or, like... Again, someone was in Heidel or Serendia. It would just, it would be a little bit too much. I would have been partially annoyed at the amount of time that I, this quest is like weird. It's just a bunch of collecting and talking. That merchant scum, he said he'll find a worthy opponent and brought this amateur. I have nothing to say. You smug, a match is not necessary to handle a whelp like you. Fight us now. My brother will take care of you. Okay. I, okay, how do I fight the, okay, I'm assuming I go out here, and I use this scroll. Uh, well, up here, use it only when you are ready. I mean, I guess I can eat one of these meals. Uh, yeah, eat one of those, and let's do this. I have to be perfectly in the circle. Alright, now can we fight? Here we go. Let's party. I have no idea how hard this is going to be. Could be a nightmare. No, it's not going to be. Well, maybe. Yeah, no, this isn't bad. Unless, unless he's going to hit me with some crazy BS attack here in a second. This is not bad at all. No, nope, that was not... <laughs> that was not bad... Whatsoever. That was actually pretty easy. Dude is a turtle. Straight just used speed to kill him. Hello, buddy. Psh, I was careless. Fine. I will face you myself at the arena. Legendary fighter Red Shadow. Did you come here knowing who you would be dealing with? If you knew, you wouldn't come up like this. Huh? You really don't know. How did a clueless rookie like you end up here? You've never heard of the Red Shadow? If you are not too afraid, I will tell you where to find the Red Shadow. She's right there, like, in the corner to the left. You've never heard... Uh, I already read that. It would be wise to keep your mouth shut. Even Kadria Elephant shiver before her threatening aura. She's literally right here. Um... Do I have to really talk to right hand first? You want to meet the red shadow? Hee hee hee. You might be risking your life. Also this. This is not a good time to talk. I'll be waiting for you at the ar ar arena. I heard there is a big match and I have high expectations on it. I'm hoping to see an epic fight. I, I mean best of luck. Okay, so go back to Kona now. If, those, if that fight was any indication of how these fights are going to go... I'm gonna mop this easily. I, I, the, what I had looked at for this quest, I thought it was like a really challenging, tough quest, but that has not been the experience so far. While we're right here next to General Goods Merchant, I do need to pick up a little bit more large HP potions. Not a ton, like, let's do 19 because I typed in the one. And then extra large mana, I'm gonna go with 25. Should be good enough. Gives me 126 and 38. 
Um, yeah, okay. I thought I was going the wrong way. We're good. Back to Kona we go. Alright, great. Now everything is perfect. I haven't been so excited these days. Uh, the match is all set. It's about time. Go inside the arena. You'll meet the host. Let him know that you're participating and start the match. If you can make it to the final battle, all people here will totally go wild for you. Both Steel Brothers will participate this time. Try using the experience you had in the previous match. Your teammate Kungo will fight for you in the match. Take advantage of him if you want. Alright, so Arena of Death 1. My food and everything is good for an hour or for two hours, so we should be good to go. Win against Man of Steel and Man of Fortitude. Get a teammate for this, so if I do have any problems, I can use him as bait. Don't want to get Kunga killed, but I also don't really, you know. His death is far less important than my death. Alright, so this should be fun. Now I'm looking forward to this quest. This quest gets... If it's going to be a bunch of fights, it should be really fun. Welcome. Please prepare for the final battle. Here you go. Very well. Here you go. Welcome. Please pre... What am I, what am I supposed to do now? Can I just go out here and fight? Okay, here we go. There's the battle agreement. Alright, let's party. Elixir of Life, Max HP, all damage reduction. I mean, I'll pop these, because why the heck not? Okay. They're just... I can't even fight yet. What is happening? That. And okay. This is when, this is when bad things happen when I get stuck on the ground. It's not what I want. I, me I messed up my attack. I wanted to go into my that like crow attack that I really love. Okay, can I stop getting stunned? Stop stunning me. Oh my gosh. I keep getting stunned. Back up. One of them was almost down. There's one down. Now we can just gank Mana Fortitude. And there we go. Two down. EZ, Kunga. EZ mode. Those guys don't hit very hard. They have, like, good health. Like, it, they have, like, make sense health, but their damage is just, like, pathetic. You've won the first round. That is great. Hee 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 hee. This time, it is a two-person battle. You will be fighting the Red Shadow of Death. Yikes. Be careful out there. She is a vicious fighter. Okay, here we go. This is what I want. I want a more powerful enemy. I like how their bodies are still here. I'm right, pop that. All right, let's do this. Elixir of Fury, all AP. This. If I can pop this in the next three seconds, I will. There we go. Alright, so it's just, this is just me versus Red Shadow. Oh god. And once again, getting. Get up. What? Do my. Oh my gosh, it won't let me do my back dash. I'm gonna spin away. Would you. Uh, would you. Chill, come here. Go, dash back in. I was trying to predict her movement, but that that didn't really work. Oh, I killed her. Okay, well that was not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. Okay, nice little two and zero. Oh. Destroyed Red Shadow. So what's next now? You've defeated the Red Shadow. That is incredible. Wow. At last, we have made it to the final battle now. Each team will form a group of three to perform a three-on-three -three battle. Red Shadow is the captain of the opponent's team. The match will be over if either you or Red Shadow is defeated. Not many could make it to the stage, so do your best. Uh, do your best. So do your best to the end. Perhaps now is the time for a new hero. 
give me the battle agreement. You know what I haven't even been doing that's really stupid? Is putting on my shields. I haven't even been doing that, and I haven't been buffing with my uh, orbs of darkness. Completely forgot that those things were an actual thing that we could do. Okay, so there's Red Shadow. Why did they spawn behind me? Fantastic. We start this fight by not being able to move. Okay, you guys don't need to double team Brody. This is this is cool, but it's also a very big cluster because I don't know. I'm just gonna worry. I'm just gonna focus these two idiots because I don't know where Red Shadow is at all times because she jumps around the arena. So I'm just gonna take my opportunity to slaughter those two idiots. Okay, so I think, yeah, we got her in a one on three now. Right? Yeah, because Brody's using his his bow. Ooh, she actually did some damage there. Did I hit her with it? Yeah, there we go. I hit her with it. Nice. Go. The one thing I like about the scythe in battles like this, like against her, it helps me get in and out, and it helps me dodge catch her. Because, like, I can catch her with back hits, which makes it easier to kind of contain the bigger enemies. Okay, easy peasy. That was not nearly as difficult as I expected it to be. Um, Where am I supposed to go now? Uh, arena death final battle. Alright, I'm assuming we have to go talk to Kona now after our... Becoming the arena champion. I feel like that would be a really cool area to like have actual like arena fights. Like not not PvP, like PvE repeatable arena battles and stuff like that. Do different stuff, claim different rewards. It would add another like PvE element to the game for people who don't love PvP to do. Uh, it was such an awesome match. I haven't seen this Ultanova Arena is so much lively for long. What? I haven't seen this Altanova Arena is so much like <laughs> oh okay. I have a reward for you. It is the ultimate weapon fit for a hero. I brought it from the far east, especially to give to whoever is the victor of the Altanova Arena. I find out I find you worthy of wielding this weapon. Just bring this letter of recommendation to Tulum. I hope to see you again fighting in the arena. Awesome. So that should be that should be the um black abyssal weapon i'm assuming i might have to claim it initially as sork which i wouldn't love but oh hold on the dude was right next to him uh which i wouldn't love but it's okay we can wait a week to put it onto my um tamer wait which one is why is it telling me to come up here or is it just not okay i just didn't select the quest okay i'm stupid uh, where is that quest? Legendary Fighter. Yeah, I thought Tulum was the dude where it sells, like, the, the the blacksmith. It's either the blacksmith or it's the guy, that's, it's the guy that sells the um, awakening weapons. Alright, Tulum. When I first saw this weapon, I already knew it was no ordinary weapon. It must have been made by a true artisan. There is no curse on it or anything, so use it as you like. Also, I don't say this often, but you were so cool. Key, 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 key. Okay, so that should be quest complete, and we got the Black Abyssal bla or, uh, the Black Abyssal weapon box. So it did keep it sealed in the weapon box, so I can actually transfer it over to my other account. So that is great. So that is the Black Abyssal weapon. Um... I guess I can end this episode off by getting on my tamer and opening it up for you guys. Uh, so we'll do that. So I'll run this over to my tamer. Uh, I believe my tamer... My tamer is in... My tamer is in Heidel? No, it's in Velia. Velia. My tamer is in Velia. So I'll run over to Velia and transfer it over my tamer. We'll open it up and, and then that will end the video. I think that'll be a good point to to call it a video we did get the black abyssal weapon that's a pretty fun quest i did really like it um so yeah i'll see you guys in a second on my tamer
All right, guys, so we are back on the Tamer here so that we can wrap up this video by opening up the Black Abyssal weapon and uh, taking a quick look at it. We will be comparing it against a Tri weapon, so that's something. Also, if you guys cannot tell, uh, if you've been watching the Tamer videos, I did go ahead and pick up this outfit. So, yeah, we have the... Um, Actanis uh, armor set, whatever. So yeah, I went ahead and picked that up. I actually never noticed how little the Tamer was compared to every other character model. Uh, so I'm going to complete that so we can go to the Valley of Storage here and take out the Black Abyssal weapon. So let's get away from people here so we can take a look. Okay, so pop open this Black Abyssal weapon box. And it will give us the Black Abyssal Short Sword. So obviously, it's not as good as a tri Laverto Short Sword. Obviously, I mean, <laughs> we clearly know that that's going to be the case. But if you look at it, it's really not that, it like, like it's worse, obviously. But it's more comparable to like a, like a pry or like a, yeah, it's more, it's like a, it's like a pry weapon, which is pretty darn good for free, seeing as pry weapons are pretty darn expensive. So, I'm going to go ahead and equip it now. Obviously, it drops our attack from 172 to 148, but we shouldn't need, you know, a ridiculous attack to get through the portions of the game that I want to get through. So, I'm going to repair my equipment real quick so that I can list this Laverto. Um, but we're going to compare it to some of the other weapons that you would be uh, looking at at this stage of the game. Um, so, Central Market Main Weapons. Short sword, so like Kazarka. Let's go into here. Look at like Pry Kazarka. You can see it's comparable to like a Pry Kazarka, which is not bad. If you go to Laverto and look at Pry Lavertos, it's pretty close to a Pry Laverto. Obviously, the accuracy is down. It doesn't have the item effects. So obviously, there's a little bit more to it than than what I'm saying. You could probably compare it more to like the plus fifteen Laverto. Um, I'm a fan of Bears or Rosar, usually, so, like, Rosar, it's, like, comparable to, like, a Pry or Duo Rosar, somewhere in between, like, Pry and Duo. It's a pretty good weapon, in my opinion, and it saves you money, so that's one big thing. So, and, like, this, I can now sell, oops, I can sell this Laverto, put those on the market as well, but we can sell this Laverto now for... One's probably 160 mil. I don't want to. Un I'll undercut it more than that because I don't really care. But like 160 mil, I can sell that for. And it saves me a bunch of money. And I have a really good weapon on this character still. So yeah, I think it's worth it. Um, it's a pretty easy quest. It's a fun quest. It's one of the more fun quests I've had in this game. I love those arena fights. I wish there were kind of some more. I wish that was the whole quest. It was just like a long arena battle fight. Um, uh, fighting different enemies and stuff like that, but that's all around a really good quest. I really enjoyed that, um, and and that's kind of what I want to do with these Friday episodes on my Sork, is we're just going to have fun, do different stuff that I deem I should have fun with. Some weeks that'll just be simply me farming for an hour or so, and some weeks it'll be me doing quests like this, but, you know, yeah, that that's pretty much going to do it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you have not. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Should have a, another... T I think I'll have a Tamer video tomorrow. And then Sunday we'll have a Bless Unleashed video. So uh, check back tomorrow for more Black Desert. Should be another progression video on Tamer. And I will catch you guys all then. Peace.